Welcome to Letty's Treehouse. <laughs> Veronica, give that back. Why not? It's not like it was filled with anything interesting. Ho 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 ho. Wap wap Oh, hi guys. Hey, you're here. Welcome back to another fun episode of Nutty's Treehouse. Yes, the only place you can go as an adult to be a kid again. Yeah, for at least a half an hour. So, um, you're, you're seeing me. I know, I know what you're thinking. <gasps> Nutty, how dare you read somebody's diary? Well, it's Betty's diary, number one. Number two, it's from Archie Comics. Number three, it was 1980-something. Uh, so uh, I guess if Betty didn't want me to read her comic book, she wouldn't have, uh, Archie Comics wouldn't have published it. So, yeah. So I think that's the only diary you can really read without getting into trouble. You know, okay, I, just, I had to say that, you know, because you know how you say something and then immediately something bad happens? So I don't see anything happening. Okay, cool. Well, have we got some cool stuff in store for you? What, what's that, Ricky? What? We don't have an episode of the Cereal Bowl today? Ah! Oh, no, that's, well, hold on. Wait, we got any, let's see, we got, um, we got cereal around here. Let me, oh, okay, 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 I get it. Um, well, before before we get to wait, should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, um, we've got two count them two cool cartoons for you today. First up, we got uh, uh, Heckle and Jekyll. Yeah, haven't shown that for ever. And then we got another Popeye. But okay, before we do that, I got to get my cereal set up. So let's bring in today's cereal. What do we got? Oh yes, we've got delicious Golden Crisp cereal. Yes. Sugar smack with a sugar beer. Oh, yes. More sweets, <laughs> says on the back. Um, liquid gold, the delicious milk sweetened by your golden crisp cereal. Ah, more sweet slang with sugar bear. Can't get enough of that golden crisp. Woohoo! So I'm going to pour me a big bowl of this while you get ready to watch Heckle and Jekyll in The Talking Magpies. I didn't say that right there. The Talking Magpies. There we go. Oh, I'm hungry. Let me get that bowl. Okay, let's eat that. Looking for a place to live. Well, look no further, friend. Look no further. Ooh, I got just a little place for you. Just for a little place for you and your woman. Oh, way up there, way up there. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You made a good buy. Peachy buy. Ooh, you like it very much. Just a minute. Now, after all, we've been through this thing before. Shut up! Shut up! Now, listen. 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 Now,
I'm not going to pull up. But then, but then she went. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, say, fellas, the boss asked me to ask you if you'd mind being a little more quiet. Uh, he's trying to sleep. Well, what did they say? Uh, they said if you'd mind your business, uh, they'd mind theirs. at sea. Let's go to press. Flash, do you have a magpie in your home? If you do, you are most fortunate. The magpie is the most charming bird in all the world. He is the best friend the farmer ever had. Treat him gently. Treat him kindly. And always remember, the magpie deserves your respect. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Just a little article you need, guaranteed to cure oral headaches. Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I ain't got no headache. Oh, yes, you have, brother. <laughs> Who knows what will happen next? The shadow knows. Oh. <laughs> Well, 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 if it ain't the little flower. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel here and welcome to the comic book nook. Yes, I've got an assortment of cool comic books that uh, I'm going to talk to you about. These are some really 
Bapo Sako comic books. So let me just mention a few of them while we get started and um, see what you think, huh? Okay, here we go. Um, uh, Secrets of Haunted House. Ooh, yes, she's definitely, um, yeah, wow. This is from DC Comics, um, uh, number 30. It was really good. I, I love how they have that approved by the Comics Code Authority. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, um, good comic book, though. Now, the, the Who Done It series from Eclipse was really neat because it's like, you know, you got to solve it, right? So um, I think I found out who the guilty party was, but um, I can't say, you know, I'm not allowed to say through contractual obligations, but uh, pretty cool, huh? Nonetheless, right? Okay. Now, here's another cool one from Eclipse Comics, Tales of Terror. Oh yes, the illustrated horror magazine for mature readers. I'm definitely a mature reader, and um, whoa, yes, um, yeah, she's she's definitely all that in a bag of chips for sure. So good read, very scary, um, yeah, very interesting. So what did you think, huh? I mean, I got a lot of comic books here. There's a lot more in the back which I don't have, but this is just a start of this segment. Uh, where we talk a little bit about the comic books and how cool they are. So, hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode. Ooh. Hey, Melody, can you lend me $20 until I get back from New York? Oh, yeah, sure, Chad. There you go. Uh, by the way, oh. when are you getting back? Who says I'm going? Bye. Hey! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey gang, welcome back. So, what did you think of the heckle and jekyll, huh? <laughs> as soon as they move in, uh, the female starts to nag at the male. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I thought that was cute. <laughs> she wouldn't shut up. <laughs> oh, that was just, oh, oh, huh. Yeah, I ain't got no headache. Oh, yes, you have, brother. <laughs> wow, I gotta say, honestly, what a bunch of jerks, huh? Those magpies were, really? I mean, oh, wow. <laughs> but it was cute, though. Yeah, it was cute. So, all right, well, um, before we get on to the next thing, I gotta have a snack. So today, I thought I would mix it up a little bit. And instead of a normal snack, I would have some ice cream. Yes, today I'm having Heath ice cream. And here's the funny thing about this. It says it's rich enough for a royal. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, that's the part of the slogan. It's rich enough for a royal. Oh, and they got a little, um, one of those king, uh, uh, queen's guards or king's guards from uh, England on there. So cool. So I'm going to have me a nice big bowl of cereal. No, I just had the cereal. I'm going to have a nice big bowl of ice cream before we get to the next cartoon. So um, we got a few segments and spots to take care of, and we'll be right back. Paging Duck Duck and Goose MDs. Uh, yes, Mr. <coughs> yes, Mr. Booba, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, doctor, I've been <coughs> having some real bad coughing fits lately. <coughs> hmm. Can you give me some medicine or something? Yes, <coughs> I think I have just the thing <coughs> for you. <coughs> oh, hello, Mr. Boo Boo. Doctor. Yes. Why did you give me laxative for my coughing fits? Uh, have you been coughing? I'm afraid to. Well, there you go. You're cured. <laughs> Joe here, along with my dad, Hobo Joe. He's currently uh, in the dumpster diving. And we got the brain stuff in store for you for our next episode of Hobo Joe's Train to Me. We've got some funny vintage cartoons, a great recipe for campfire baked beans, how to sew holes in those nasty socks of yours, and a special visit from our pal, Scruffy Pants. Ah, you! Get off the track! Oh, oh, oh. It seems like Officer Madougal is hot on our trail. We better skedaddle before he catches us. We'll see you next time on Hobo Joe's Train Caboose. Okay, 
Okay, we are back. So, um, I just had me a nice uh, bowl of uh, Heath. Yes, thank you, Ricky. And uh, folks, here's a tip. Okay, it says on the side, um, please see bottom panel for, uh, you know, best uh, used by date. Here's a tip, folks. Don't flip it over to see the bottom when it's been out for a little bit and it's kind of liquidy and the top is off because Ricky did that and he spilled the rest of the ice cream all over the place. So nice going, Ricky. Wow, that's almost like a Chad move there, if I don't say it myself. But uh, yeah, I gotta say, this was a, a delicious ice cream, yeah. I mean, it is rich enough for a royal, but us commoners can eat it too. Um, price wasn't too bad, so yeah, thank you. All right, so what do we got next? We've got your pal and mine and everybody else's pal, Popeye in Floor Flusher. So take it away, Popeye.
take you on a special episode of the toy chest today so come with me into one of my special rooms and you can see some of my collection okay so here is um, some of my collection of stuff I decided that I would mix things up a little bit kind of like mix things together you know kind of um, have a little fun with it instead of having it all the one thing you know so, um, yeah, I got some cool things. Now, look at that. You got Gonzo, you got um, Lamb Chop, and, of course, you've got Charlie McCarthy, who's pretty cool, right? Okay. And then let's come on over, and you'll see, ooh, you've got uh, a couple of cool characters there. You got Count Dracula. You got uh, Toonsville there over there. You got uh, Star Wars, uh, Ghostbusters. You got Batman. Wow, neat, huh? And then up here, I've got uh, a cool train and um, got a giant spider. I got a, a Star Wars mask over there. I got four Star Wars figures there that just came out recently. And then, of course, here, I've got the four. Um, Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Frankenstein's Monster, Count Dracula, and, of course, um, um, oh, my God, Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> I couldn't think for a second. So that's pretty cool, huh? What do you think? <laughs> okay, continuing. I had to get down a little lower for this because, you know, this is a little bit lower. But look, I got my Star Wars. I got some Star Wars toys. And again, I, I decided that I would mix things up a little bit. Instead of, you know, putting tons and tons of Star Wars things on a shelf, I would just do something like this, you know. And then I got this whole row is nothing but Star Wars. Now, again, it's part of my collection. It's not all of my collection, because I realize that I'm going to need more shelves for all of these toys. And I don't know if I'm going to have to add an extension to my uh, treehouse for this. Now, here is something that I think is absolutely cool. Look at these. These are all cups and containers that you could that I got over the years. You know, some of these are from a, a Happy Meal. Um, there's, um, let's see. You got over there the Return of the Jedi. That was from, I think, McDonald's. And uh, then I got um, these uh, from the Muppets. These were from Dairy Queen. Yeah. And then you got some other cool uh, cups that I bought at various places. And then you, you come on over here and guess what? We got more. Yes. Got a skeleton head uh, minus his um, arm, which sadly broke. Got a, a Sesame Street. Oh, got the Power Rangers back there. And then, of course, you've got a group, Ghoul of the Day, your king. Can you see him? There he is, Ghoulardi. Wow. There he is. There's your king, your leader. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you some of my cool collection. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Toy Chest. In the not-too-distant future on planet Earth, NB puppets rule the world, with humans becoming the hunted. Crikey, Ted! There's another one attempting to write a commercial. Oh, and it's gonna be just awful. Let's capture him. Right. Good eye! Ah, no! Fortunately for you, NB Puppets are ready to overtake the advertising and commercial world. 
Our creative minds and witty styles will help you to sell and market your products and services. NB Puppets can do it better, cheaper, and faster than humans. Hire us now before it's too late. Okay, we're back. And uh, i got to show you this. In uh, Betty's Diary, there's a side panel. It's um, like, you know, advertising. It's for Laffy Taffy. Did you ever see this? The Laffy Taffy Bunch? Wow, kind of cute, huh? I, I wonder if they ever came out with a, uh actual uh, cartoon or even a comic book of themselves. Who knows? All right. Well, um, okay, so what did you think of that Popeye, huh? <laughs> that was another good comic uh, cartoon. I mean, she drinks a lot of water there. I mean, we're talking a lot of water. I love how they tie... Uh, uh, pipes into bows to fix them, or they, they do tie the water into a bow. I mean, really? I've tried that. It doesn't work. And then Bluto, as always, what a jerk. Um, here's the droop. Who's been causing the drip? <laughs> you read that? That was just, oh my gosh. All right. Well, uh, so far, good cartoons, uh, a good comic book, good snack. And before um, we wrap it up, I got another snack in store. And what am I eating today? Ooh, this one's good. It's a moon pie. It's a salted caramel moon pie. Ooh, that's going to be delicious. I can't wait to snack on that while I dig into Betty's diary. And um, I wonder if she's going to talk about me because I really love her. So, all right, we'll be right back, folks. Hey, folks, are you looking for some great videos to watch? Well, why not check out Vivian's videos? You can find all of Vivi's videos in the XX section at your local store. Why, why? Because they are great, great. Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, this episode of Nutty's Treehouse is fast coming to an end. And uh, we had a lot of cool stuff today. I got to read Betty's diary. And uh, she didn't mention me in this issue, so I'm going to keep reading to see if I can find any more issues. And here's the funny thing. You see this on the back? Yeah, it's um, an advertisement for, um, you know, the Flintstones, um, you know, pebbles and cocoa puffs and uh, or cocoa pebbles and stuff, fruity pebbles. And, you know, when you look at Barney Rubble, you know, somewhere I saw a picture of Barney Rubble and it morphed into Captain Caveman. I'm kind of wondering, is that actually Barney Rubble, or is it a, a relative? Hmm. Which makes me think, is Fred Flintstone actually the Hulk? I mean, you know, Fred gets mad, and when he gets mad, he really gets mad. So, all right, folks. Well, hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you enjoyed it enough to come back next week for another fun-filled, action-packed episode. So, Get out of the treehouse, get out, have some fun, maybe go do some shopping, pick up some more snacks and cereal, and, um, you know, just have a blast, okay? So, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye!